Hello, my name is Manton Reese. I want to show some of the book related features we have in Micro.blog today. Over the last couple of years, we've added a bunch of different book features, but they're a little bit scattered. It's not always clear how you could fit these together and use them. So I want to show a few different things all at once in this video. To do that, of course, I'm going to have Micro.blog on the web, uh, that main interface for managing this. And I also created a test blog, so it's bookstest.pan.blog, just a test blog. It has just literally just one post, just created it today, hello world, but we'll add some more posts and pages to it as we go through this video. First, let's show some of the bookshelves interface. Um, we'll start with Discover. Discover, of course, is uh, where you can discover new users, different posts that people are posting. And if a post contains emoji, we collect it into this special books uh, emoji discover section. You can see different posts that people are linking to books. Um, you can also see, if you want to see kind of visually, you can see different covers that people of all, of all the books that are included in the blog posts. Um, I can click on one and I go to that blog post from the person who is blogging about the book. So let's go back to uh, micro.blog and click on bookshelves. And this is a new feature that lets me keep track of books that I am reading, that I want to read, that I finished reading. These are the three default bookshelves that are created for you. These are the ones I personally use, but you can create another one. You could have one called Favorites. You could have one called Did Not Finish, that sort of thing. If I click on one of these, of course, I see the books. I have a few different books that I'm kind of bouncing between at the moment. Um, I can create a new blog post that links to that book. Uh, I can also, if it's one of these default bookshelves like currently reading, micro.blog knows that, well, what's the next step after currently reading? Probably you're done reading it. So you can, with one click, move it to the finished reading bookshelf. Uh, I can also search for books to add. I'll just search for, let's say, The Hobbit. I get some results, different editions. I'll click on this one, get this book detail page where I can add it to a bookshelf, and I can also link out to different services, Amazon, Goodreads, etc. Um, from here, you know, these bookshelves, they're, they're basically private. They're just for you to keep track of books you're reading and then make it easy with one click to blog about the book. That's the main goal, make it easier to blog about what you're reading. But you also might want to share more than that on your blog. You might want to share all the upcoming books that you want to read. And one way you can do that is create a page on your blog. Um, let's click on pages. By default, you get these couple standalone pages about archive. If you have photos, there's a photos page that shows a grid of photos you've uploaded. uploaded. Um, you can create pages for anything, you know, contact me, different, you know, other things that you want to uh, prominently show on your, um, on your blog. Uh, for books, let's create a new one. I'm just going to call it a reading list. And in the text, I'll just put, you can leave a blank or you can put, I'll put, um, you know, these are the books that, that I want to read, if I can type. And I do want to include this in my blog navigation. So I'll hit add page. Um, now, by so if I just have that page on my blog, of course, it's just, you know, that's all you get. You get the text and, and the title. But what I really want to do is include the books in my want to read list on that page automatically. So if I click on this little I in micro.blog, this little info, I get a couple other things. I can rename the bookshelf, it shows me what blog I'm posting to. This is my test blog that I've created just for this demo. And then it says include books on page and I'm going to select reading list and I'm going to save the bookshelf. So now what micro.blog is doing is if I click back on this page, pages list and I click on it, you know, nothing's changed. It just has the title, the text, but behind the scenes, every time you change the bookshelf, add a book, remove a book, micro.blog will update that page with the list. So let's click back. I'm already here on my blog, my test blog. I'm going to hit reload in Safari. I see that it's added this reading list link to the navigation. I'll click on it and I get the text I added. These are the books that I want to read. And I get, of course, all the books on my want to read list. I can click on one and go to that micro.blog book detail page. Uh, and it includes the covers that micro.blog knows about. So that's great. This is exactly what I, what I want it to look like. Um, you could create separate pages for, you know, finished reading, uh, currently reading, that sort of thing. You can manage it however you would like. So a couple other things I want to show, and one is actually creating new blog posts about a book, because that's, again, one of the main goals is just to make it easier to take the books that you're 
keeping track of that you want to read and blog about them. And you can do that from the web in Microsoft Blog. And we also have uh, our iOS and Android app. It's called Epilog. And here I have the uh, iOS simulator on my Mac where I can just kind of show what it would look like on your phone. I can select, you know, my different uh, bookshelves. I can search for books to add. Uh, if I click on one, I again get a similar interface for changing the, uh, the bookshelf that the book is in. Um, and I also get this new post button. Let me click on that. I can see the blog that it's going to. I can tap on that if you have multiple blogs to change it. Uh, this is just text. I can change this. I can type something else. I'll just keep this default. Want to read. Has a markdown link to the book. Click post. And off we go. Let's go back to micro.blog. Click on posts in the web. And I see that I now have a new blog post. Want to read. Links to the post. Includes a little books emoji. Perfect. If I click back on my, uh, my blog, my test blog, and go back to the home page, I can see, of course, that I've got the new blog post, just like you would expect. Great. So where can we go from here? Um, I have books I want to read. I have, you know, as I'm reading them, I'm blogging, you know, I want to read or I finished reading. Um, the, the, um, well, I mean, let's say I want to collect these posts into, um, into a category that, that contains all of them. Uh, let's click on categories. I don't have any categories on my blog right now. Uh, you might have categories for, you know, photos, different topics, you know, things you're really interested in that you blog about a lot. Um, let's create one called books. Has no posts in it yet, as you'd expect. I could go into posts and edit this post and I could, you know, just select books. Yeah, this is a book post, but that can be a little tedious if you're blogging a lot about books and micro.blog has a way to just manage this for you that I want to show. So I'm not going to save that yet. Um, let's go to categories again and you'll see after you've created a category, you get this edit filters link. And what's that about? Let's click it. <laughs> and oh, actually I had already created this when I was testing earlier. Um, let me uh, delete this actually so I can show how it works. New filter. What a filter does is it matches some text in a blog post and automatically assigns a category. So in this case, I want to say, you know, if the blog post text um, contains the, um, I'll pull up the emoji, emoji uh, picker. Uh, if, if it contains the books emoji, any kind of post, I want to automatically set the category books. So hit add filter and there we see it. Um, by default, this is going to apply to any new posts that I create, but if you have a lot of posts already, it doesn't go back and try to change any of those. If you do want it to go back, which I do because I have that one post that we created, just hit run filter, but you only need to do that once. Going forward, it'll automatically run every single time you create a blog post. So now if I click on posts and I hit edit on this, I can see that it's automatically checked this category books for me. All right, so what does that all look like? Let's go back to our blog. Um, reload my blog. Um, actually, nothing's changed on the home page, but if I click on archive, micro.blog uh, you know, shows the blog posts that I've created on my site, just have a couple so far, but it also creates, shows a link to any top, um, any categories. So in this case, I created a books category. I'll click on that and then it'll show all the posts that are in that category. Of course, there's just one. Great. So what else could we do? One thing we could do is we could create a link to this category page in our navigation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the URL that this for this category page and copy it to my clipboard because I'm going to need this in a minute. Uh, let's go back to micro.blog and create a new page. I'll just call it books. And what, to create a link to a category page, you just paste in the URL for the category page. Uh, this is not obvious that this works, but it does. This tells micro.blog you know, create this books link in your navigation, but instead of having a page with text on it and other, other things, just uh, link to this books uh, category page instead. So we do want it to be included in our navigation. Hit add page, micro.blog will go ahead and add that. Uh, where do we go from here? So actually let's go back to our blog and we should be able to just reload the blog again. And now we see there is a books link in the, um, in the navigation, click on that. 
And again, it goes to that category page where I see all the posts that have the book's emoji because that's what the filter was set up to do. So that's a bunch of different things, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how you can use that bookshelf interface, how you can discover books that other people are blogging about. You can keep track of books for, your, for yourself, but also integrate them into your blog so you can share them with other people. Uh, if you're moving from another platform like Goodreads, we also have an import. We'll take one of those files from Goodreads and try to find uh, the books, um, look up the books and the covers for you so that they're added to a bookshelf on micro.blog, or you can just start over in micro.blog with new books. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks so much for using micro.blog. Have a good day.